whenever you're ready, Vera, you can go ahead and begin. Please let me tell you some words. Spermicide. <clears throat> in intrauterine device. Diaphragm. Condoms. What do all these things have in common? And what are they? They are all birth control methods. And they're not being funded. Birth control needs to be considered a basic health need, just like any other medicine. But first, before you can support my cause, I need to tell you what birth control is, how it helps everyone, not just ladies, and why it needs to be funded. First, before I start, I need to tell you what birth control is. Birth control is something prescribed by a doctor or either bought over the counter that helps, you know, stop babies. But it has many other benefits. This is spermicide. Also, viewer discretion advice, I will be using explicit words. Spermicide is shot up the vagina and it kind of just sits there and you shouldn't use a condom because the friction, it also, it'll dissolve it, which will completely just undo the cause. Um, it is, it kills the sperm on contact, but downside, it does not protect you against STDs. Another is a diaphragm. It sits on your cervix, which is like the very, very back part of the vagina. I'm so sorry. But it sits in the very back part of the vagina, and it, con it controls, like, it just makes sure the sperm doesn't enter the uterus. Another is the intra intrauterine device. It sits in your vagina, and it, not your vagina, but it sits in your uterus and stops the, the egg from leaving and attaching to the uterine wall. Because it, is, it itself is attached to the uterine wall. And the last one, condoms. Did you know there is a female condom? It sits in the vagina. It's just a long plastic tube. Oh, sorry. Uh, Nina Todd said, only of couples who rely on male condoms, which is the condom on the left or the right. I don't know my directions. I'm so sorry. That only 15% of users get pregnant. Now that you know what birth control is, let me, let me describe to you why is it a basic health need. But before, <coughs> you know, you need to know what a basic health need is. It's something that some people use every day to maintain health and just keep their well-being. Birth control has a lot of benefits, mainly for women. Birth control, of course, is used to stop babies, but it, it's also used to stop acne, help with cramps, because cr a cramp is just the contraction of the uterine walls, and they aren't the greatest. Another is a disease called endometriosis. It is a disease that has cysts on the inner uterine walls, and it decreases fertility by 25%. A quote from the Center for Young Women's Health says, hormonal treatments such as birth control pills are either taken in cycles or continuously are felt to relieve some systems, sy symptoms associated with endometriosis in eight to 10 patients. The pill does not cure endometriosis, but when it is described continuously, it will stop your daughters, because this is a parent's, Thing. It will stop your daughter's period along with the pain often associated with it and lessen the chance of endometriosis. So it has all of these benefits. And I just think that's really cool because I know a family who has a line of endometriosis and their fertility rates are dropping because it's just grown over. But they started the younger generation on birth control by the time they started their first period. And they're, they're doing well. They're not fully, fully cured yet, but they are better. All right. So why does it need to be funded? 
In 2014, there was a lawsuit against a client and a member of a, of a store chain called Hobby Lobby. They stopped um, ensuring birth control because they're a Christian organization and they're very pro-life. But what they meant to stop was, pro, was Plan B, which is a pill you take after unprotected sex and it kills off the baby if, if, it's, if you have one. But from the Planned Parenthood website, and deeply troubling decisions for women's health care and reproductive rights, in 2014, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that some employers who personally provided, for personal belief, birth control is wrong, have the power to deny legally mandated health care coverage of its employees. The ruling between Burwell versus Hobby Lobby grant bosses at two companies a religious um, exemption of part of the Affordable Care Act. That covers birth control without copay. In addition, those companies and many other employers have <coughs> challenged the Affordable Care Act's birth control mandates so that they too can, can deny the benefits to their employees. So to the, to the women with endometriosis or terrible cramps or just people who use birth <coughs> control, that's money that some of us don't have. The, inter, the intro uterine device, it's worth $1,300 for the device and to be implanted. If you're working, let's say, at Hobby Lobby or even McDonald's, you, sometimes you can't make that money up. So I, having it Having it funded is extremely helpful. Birth control is something all of us will use one day, whether it be condoms, the pill, or a device. So, call your local congressman, write letters, just start the conversation. Because it's used. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Let's give a round of applause. Okay, thank you, Vera. Um, we are getting close to the end of class, so if we could keep those half sheet or quarter sheets of paper, please, and we will film the question answer period tomorrow, uh, just because we are out of class time for today. Okay, Monday. I'm sorry, on Monday. All right, thank you very much. Have